If you want to know what's going on in Colombia, just look at the graffiti street art. So we're in Bogota, Colombia. Right now we're walking through a neighborhood called La Candelaria. We're doing a graffiti tour. There's a lot of graffiti here that, that kind of talks through like the peace process and just kind of the cultural and political atmosphere in Colombia. La Candelaria, it's a pretty neighborhood and it's one of the oldest in Bogota. There's a lot of life in these streets. But it's also known for being a bit more gritty, and that makes it the perfect backdrop for artists to speak their truth. They come from around the world and they paint about politics, love, loss, oppression, everything. He usually illustrates these cute characters fighting post-apocalyptic wars. He's another fan of Star Wars. That's Monica. She's the manager of this tour, Bogota Graffiti Tours. She says the Colombian artists tend to paint things that reflect what's going on in Colombian politics, culture, and society. This whole situation in Colombia, having repression and not being taken into account by the government, kind of pushed young adults to start producing graffiti. Mm. It ended up creating like a great art scene. What Monica's referring to are the issues that have plagued Colombia for decades. Drug trafficking wars, alleged corruption among government ranks, and most recently, a failed peace process between the government and the FARC rebels. And that violence and unrest has been fueling Colombian artists and attracting all sorts of art admirers. Even, apparently, Justin Bieber. He painted his own wall here, but it upset the local artists. So, that day, Justin Bieber's wall was completely covered. Two hours after, he finished it. Oh well. Sorry, Biebs. Tell me about the people that, that do your tours. Are they like tourists? Are they locals? A little bit of both? Well, mostly tourists. Recently, we have had more locals, which is great because they come to appreciate the art that we have here. People on these tours tend to connect with specific murals. This one's absolutely my favorite one that we've seen so far, and it turns out that this guy is like a really famous Colombian artist, and that, uh, that's his name, Guache. This mural is about embracing your heritage, a theme that's become popular in Colombian society in recent years. But in general, I feel in Colombia, we paint a lot about ethnicity. It's easy to get lost in the moment looking at the street art. In fact, we got so distracted by that particular mural, we actually got lost. All right, we lost them completely. Run, Reed, run. Meanwhile, there's a woman on a loudspeaker like yelling in English about <laughs> graffiti through these tiny streets and we lost them already. <laughs> we found them again, eventually. Hola, Monica. ¿Dónde están? <gasps> sí, nos perdimos en el chorro. Do they stay here indefinitely or is it like a time period that they exist? We're changing. Our society is changing all the time. That happens with the street art as well. Something else is going to replace it, saying more contemporary things.